This is a no bullshit guide on carrying from the mid lane. Nisi here. Alongside jungle, mid has the most potential to impact a game. There's lots of opportunities to carry for mid. You can kill your lane opponent 1v1. You can steal enemies buffs. You can kill the jungler while he is taking his buffs. You can roam top or bottom without missing much CS. And if your lane gets out of control, any one of your teammates can die at any time. Oh, and there's eight different spots that you can be ganked from. So how do we do it? It starts when you select your champion. Focus on the things that your champion does really, really well. So let's use Nidalee as an example. Nidalee has poke, good sustain, traps, and high mobility. And I would bang. So we essentially have a siege champion. Does that work with your team comp? Nice. Make a note of that as you go into mid. Picking summoner spells for mid lane is fucking easy. If you can kill your lane opponent, flash ignite. If you can't kill each other, flash teleport might be a good option. If you can't kill your lane opponent and he can kill you, flash barrier or cleanse. Or maybe buy some Vaseline runes. A good mid laner always has the correct starting items. If you aren't scared of your lane, take one of the two Doran's items and go and beat him up. But Nisi, I'm facing Lux or Gragas and I, I just can't beat him up. Push him to turret, call your jungler and go beat up theirs. Look, you always have to remember this. If I can beat them up now, they will beat me up later. So what if we're on the defensive side? If a jungle gank can kill me flat out, I'm always going to start with a ward. Don't be afraid to take another ward if you're scared. I normally place my ward in the enemy wraith camp and then dodge the jungler depending on where I spot him on the minimap. If a jungler catches you out of position in mid, it's almost always correct to flash their CC. But remember, until your summoner spells come off of cooldown, you might need to play even more passive. As a mid laner, you must always buy a ward every time you back. No exceptions. As you level throughout the game, you'll be able to wave clear faster. Clear your wave, and if you can't roam, start adding your jungle's camps into your farm rotation. How do you think Froggen sets all those farm records? You should only roam if the majority of the following things are true. I know where the enemy jungle is. The lane that I'm going to isn't warded or the enemy there is positionally like fucked up. My lane can no longer kill me. My jungler is going to the same place. The teammates that I'm trying to help aren't near death, retarded, or out of mana. These considerations will make your roaming attempts way more successful. I said in the beginning that you must take your champion's strengths into consideration before going into the game. Focus on using those strengths throughout the entire game to improve your win rate as a mid laner. In this game I'm nidalee so I focus on poking and taking objectives. If I was playing Lissandra, I would focus on initiating favorable team fights. If I was playing Diana, I'd focus on diving and assassinating enemy carries. If I was Gangplank, seriously, what the fuck does Gangplank do anyways? Got a pistol, but I'm melee. Durr. If you have a tendency to deviate from the things that make your champion good, then stop playing the fucking champion because you're likely playing very inefficiently. I got a few more tips for you before I go. This video is a guideline. No lane is ever black and white. Most mid laners nowadays are very skill shot intensive. So keep your APM up so you avoid that free harass. Contrary to your angry teammates' beliefs, sometimes you can't follow your lane when it roams. Ping your teammates back and push the lane. This has been a no bullshit guide on carrying from the lane of mid. I'm Nisi, and remember, if you subscribe, you'll get more videos like this. Peace! Hey, it's Nisi. Hope you learned some things about mid laning. You can find me on Twitch too. Just look up Nisi. Bye! Started from the bronze, now we're here. Started from the bronze, now we're diamond and we don't care.